In this video, we are going to discuss about the different objects that are available with Blender. So, when we are going to work with 3D environment, do some 3D modeling, we are not expected to create everything from scratch. So, some basic objects are already provided to us. Like right now in the scene itself, you can see we have a cube. We have a light, we have a camera already provided to us. So Blender provides us some basic objects which sometimes we all call as a primitives also which are provided to us which we can use for further modeling and designing of our objects. So let us see what are the different objects that Blender provides us and which ones which will be working with us. So I'll just delete this cube for the time being. Now to get a list of objects you can just go to add and this add shows you the things that you can add and work upon so the first type is mesh under which you can see a list of different type of objects which are represented so mesh is the most common representation of a 3d model in blender or it's a geometrical representation which uses the concept of vertex edges and faces this is the one which will be or this is the type which we will be working on very commonly fine so mesh are the first type of objects the second type of objects are curves so here you can see there is a bezier curve shown over here now if you have worked with 3d graphic software and all then you will be knowing that what is Bezier curve basically these are defined on the basis of mathematical equations internally and if I use some control points and so on I can get a different kind of curves so these curves can be used for creating a curved line and all and further on like say I wanted to create a wire or something like that I can use the curves so this is the second type of object we will come across then we have surfaces Surfaces are different surfaces that you can create. Again, these surfaces are based on the concept of mathematical equations. Right? So, like you can see a parachute type of surface is created over here. This is again one of the types. Then, let us see. We have meta ball. These are some very interesting objects that are provided in Blender. And they are kind of a fluid type of objects and they behave in a very interesting manner as whenever they come across each other they are joined like this so these also have some kind of interesting usages and all though we might not be discussing them during the phase of this course but these are the type of objects that are there so one thing to keep in mind is when we want to add a sphere please don't end up adding this meta ball fine so you otherwise what we are discussing and what you're trying to do will not work out but these are very funny objects you can see you can play around with them later on okay so meta balls are some objects then we have text text is any kind of text that you will want to add to your scene and all or you want to create a three dimensional text and all so this is the basic place where we can start grease pencil are objects basically which are used in the 2D animation part so there is a you know 2D part also you can have a new 2D animation and all here so grease grease pencil objects are objects that are there for this thing so our monkey which you know it has a two dimensional friend which is represented like this okay let's see what else we have over here we have armature armatures are basically added for animation and movement of your objects like if you are making a crane or something or maybe if you are making this hand like this i have bones so i might model my hand but i have to animate it properly like this kind of movement and all i will have to add an armature right you see my hand you don't see my bones so roughly you can see it is about adding that bones into our uh, 3d model and get it moving correctly so that is our armature which we can add fine armatures do not get rendered or they will not be visible in the final output they are inside just like you have bones they will be inside your object 
then you have lattice objects these are used for deforming or reshaping objects with a cage kind of thing you can say again not immediate usage then we have empty objects these are objects which are used for reference purpose they do not show up in the final output and all but they can be used for reference points here and there and so on fine so here they will show up but when you create your animation or render the output of your image and all they don't show up so these are empty objects then you have images you can have a reference image and a background image background images you can have a background scene image for your uh, scene over here and reference images just like in a drawing when you use another drawing for reference you can use that so we can place a reference image in the background and then we can trace out or do something similar to that that is a reference image you can add next we have lights different kind of lights again we will be talking about lights light probes are there these are used for calculating some indirect reflections and all again don't worry about them but it is there just for information camera is like a camera obviously if i have let us say an object over here fine and i'm working on this fine like let us say for example this is a model penguin i had been working upon fine let us see okay now when i'm working on it i am viewing it from my perspective but if i wanted to send that what i have done finally i would place it somewhere and to send it to my friend or someone i will take a photograph of it obviously for that purpose we need to place a camera fine you can have one camera two camera and so on depending upon your requirement what you are animating and so on okay so before i proceed another thing is to add an object you can always use a shortcut shift a and the add menu will pop up there so another thing that we can add is a speaker speaker is used for adding sound to our scenes this will be useful when you are animating something there are force fields like you want to have a effect of wind or something vortex magnet and so many other things are there these kind of force fields are there please don't confuse a force field with the uh, science fiction kind of movies where they have a force field and they get protected for it these are fields basically where some force is getting generated it could be air magnetic and so on then finally we have this collection instance basically you can refer to a whole collection from here you can add a whole collection and place it somewhere so those are the type of objects and we will be working basically with mesh objects in the upcoming sessions